A very good afternoon. My name is Alok, and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So this is me in the background with a uh, Network Nuts T-shirt, and you you can see that uh, the results of the gym. Going to gym regularly. I'm going to gym regularly for last two months, and the results are clearly showing up here. So uh, I'm very happy, and uh, because of uh, the current fitness level. And one more thing, uh, I'd like to share with you before I start uh, with this video. I want to say a big thanks to all of you that because our YouTube channel of Network Nuts had just crossed 50,000 views worldwide. So this is indeed it wouldn't be possible without your love and your trust. So I thank you once again for all your love and uh, and thanks once again for liking the videos and your beautiful comments they always motivate me to do the good things in life so 50,000 views on internet that is good that is good apart from the biceps and the triceps here so what's in this video in this video I'm going to share you oh sorry the man is hidden uh, uh, let me yeah like this yeah this is cool okay in this video I'm going to show you how to define the limits on the postfix so the prerequisite again is that you should be knowing how to configure a basic postfix server so uh, once again I have my trusted virtual machine here for you uh, with me so I have the basic postfix configured here I'll just show you I just uh, give service postfix status so the basic postfix is running once the postfix is running how can you r put certain limits so that the postfix will be uh, working within the defined limits and will not be burdened extra uh, s some of the common things and one is very uh, important I'd like to share is that suppose I'll just open the main.cf file where we do all the configurations go to the bottom uh, I'm at the bottom if you want to limit the number of twos for a single message means a single message like if you want to limit the number of twos for a single message means you can simply define here smtpd underscore recipient underscore limit and then define the number say I give 100 the default is 1000 remember default is 1000 so means if you are sending one message it won't or any of your employee is sending a message the mail server won't accept more than 100 recipient at a single time for that message so in this way you can define a limit on the number of the message that can be delivered to the clients at a given point so it can be a very like small but very efficient tool one more limit you can you might want to uh, control a couple of students they always ask me in RSCE and RSCSS training that sir how can we limit the message size how can we limit the number of recipients uh, I normally share the all these steps there um, but sometimes because of, of the time limits and certain other uh, other factors the uh, things are not being shared to all the students or all of them who are play coming to us for the trainings so again YouTube is a very beautiful medium through which I can share whatever I'm learning or these days or whatever I had learned up till now so if you want to define the message size limit limit the message size you can just write here message underscore size underscore limit and the size limit say 15 MB the uh, default is 10 MB so you can define here the limit on the massive size also so means uh, the employees or the clients 
won't be able to send a message greater than the size of 15 MB that includes attachments and all those things so these things can be defined to uh, for uh, to control the limits for your postfix server these two are very good one more very uh, important thing or a limit I'd like to share with you all is if uh, there is some attacker I'll, I'll just share a very beautiful again a very beautiful uh, illustration uh, with you though it is not the uh, illustrated weekly <laughs> okay this is uh, the scenario suppose there is an attacker here the evil guy you can see the face is evil and this is my postfix server if somebody the attacker here the evil guy the bad guy is using some application or is using some malicious program to connect to your your server and sending some garbage commands so how the postfix is going to respond with that kind of attackers uh, you can define SMTPD error sleep time here look what happens actually what happens actually like when the attacker attacks you for the first time with some malicious program and he's trying to connect to your server and sending some garbage command when the attacker has tried for the first time the server will respond to him but after a one second delay fine the attempt failed he tried again second attack again the server will respond to him but after a one second delay so these so what will happen I'll just uh, share with you uh, here is my virtual machine so how to control or how to take care of these types of attacks there's a very simple uh, say configuration uh, for controlling intentional attacks there's an option there SMTPD underscore error underscore sleep underscore time say I give here one second I'll just explain you what that means SMTPD soft I'm configuring it as per my uh, beautiful diagram <laughs> limit is equal to say 10 I give 10 then I write SMTPD underscore hard underscore error underscore limit is equal to 20 now what the what does that mean let me explain you I'll just put it like this yeah this sounds good yeah look what happens now when the attacker is using some program or he's sending some garbage command to you for the first time the server will respond to him but after a one second delay it's being configured here here it is one second so SMTPD error sleep time is the time that the server will take to respond him back fine now the attacker tries again the evil guy here in the red you can see the face is evil bad guy okay the attacker tries to attack you again again the server will respond to him but after a one second of delay that's great he keeps on doing this until until what until the SMTPD soft error limit which here uh, as per my diagram I defined for 10 means my sorry my server will keep on adding a one second of delay until the 10th attack as soon as the attacker attacks me for the 11th time now the SMTPD soft error limit has crossed what my server will do now my server will add a 11 second of delay to the response now the attacker attacks for the 12th time a 12 second delay 13th time 13 second 14 time 14 second 15 time 15 seconds and so on until the attacker reaches the limit of 20 attacks as soon as he hit uh, the 20th attack now here I had configured SMTPD hard error limit is 20 means as soon as the attacker attacks for the 20th time my server will 
stop responding to him means there will be no response as such here no respond and my server will not communicate with the attacker or the evil guy because of the pattern of the attacks or because he's doing or feeding me the garbage command or the wrong commands garbage commands is actually treated by the postfix as errors so in this way the server defend itself from a attacker so you can always configure these three small values smtpd error sleep time one second you can uh, increase the delay here the soft limit means up till when and the hard limit means up as soon as the attacker hits you for the hard error limit the server will respond or will stop responding to him that's it and if he tries again after like uh, one day or uh, after a time he will be met with the same output he he's dealt within the same framework so in this way you can uh, secure your post fix from an attacker i i hope you understand this uh, particular thing as uh, the illustration by me is beautiful it's amazing i s sometimes wonder how am i able to draw these beautiful illustrations god gift god gift i can tell you this this is god gift <laughs> so these are the small things i'd like to share with you that you can use this um, these small things to secure your server and to configure the limits on your server so that the server will behave in a proper manner within the framework so i hope you like this video so I, after configuring this just save and come out and obviously you need to do a a service post fix reload or a restart that's great uh, so it's what i wanted to share you in this video i hope you like this video and i'll come back again with the more configurations on the post fix as post fix is not being dealt in detail in the standard uh, standard course or the standard uh, curriculum so the idea is just to share you more and more Thank you once again. God bless. Take care.